Hello, welcome back. So, someone said I have to speak to Julius. Eh, well, I don't want to mispronounce it. I guess it's Caesar, but well, depends on. Let's not go into that. Solway. Interesting. <laughs> I shall accept this to the extent of my. Indeed. Like you, I've never been to Lesbos before. Lesbos is one of the most important islands on this sea. Location, I would guess. The island has countless coves and natural harbor. Be that as it may, their position here is superior. Of course. Fascinating, isn't it? The Legion can build a fortified camp like this almost overnight. In my opinion, that is the foundation of Rome's military might. Exactly, they could basically build settlements in a few days. Rome wasn't built in a day, but their work camp was built in a day. <laughs> Does it matter? For the sake of this discussion, let us say he was a traitor. In the end, we are triumphant and the pirates are dead. The Triarchus, if indeed he worked with them in a war like this. Wait, listen, you seem trustworthy. That is good to hear. Keep in mind that I've been keeping a detailed account of our journey ever since we left port. Shortly after our arrival, however, the journal went missing. I'm reasonably cool. sure. The journal might be misplaced, but I find this to be improbable since I write regularly. I have seen a particular man walking out of my tent. As a matter of fact, I have already confronted him and he pretty much... Admission is the king of all evidence. To what end? That I have already tried. He threatened me in a way. He said if I continue bothering... It is my private journal wherein I write my private thoughts. I am not ready for those to be publicized. Roman law is valid in Rome, and our perpetrator knows this. This is... The Centurio is called Agrippa, I think. He hangs out with his friends near the tent over there. I, needless to say, I would like to keep the contents of the journal private. I, Wait, what? Please we have to me. get his journal back? Okay, that's a weird mission, yeah. Uh... Okay, by the way, um, someone told me in the comments that Yeah, he has a mission for you, but when is uh, Well, spoiler alert, right? cover your ears It doesn't matter, he dies anyway, so So, hey, little man, you must yeah. be new I am Spurious Kinkius Carius Merchant ex- Good, very good I'd envy anyone who makes money in exchange for simply standing around and doing nothing Enough pointless chatter Poverty grows from idleness. You are oh, it's obviously not familiar with the matters of whatever people are willing to pay for. There's the matter of This is trading. Sure, so I guess medicine is cheaper today. Also have a few slaves. Slaves, well. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, but where, where is that? Oh, okay, maybe here. Our way to Brune. No, that's not them. So where is that guy? That tent over there, but I guess they forgot to mention where over there is. So I guess it would be helpful Sound to know way. what tent is Caesar's. Hmm. I don't think it find the talk to Agrippa. Okay, so looks like he's near the mess hall with the bugs on the tent. Mess hall, uh, somewhere where they eat. Salve. I might be blind, but I'm not seeing him anywhere, even though it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be an easy to find location. Maybe it's not on this map, but where else could it be? All is well, I hope. Hmm, so he says it's next to the tent over there. He could be that guy, right? All is well, I hope. Yeah, you should, should have been right here if I am understanding the dialogue so right. Domine. 
Oh, that's Sinera, so we don't need to talk to him. Man, what are... Oh. Some of these missions are really weird, so... Oh, how are you supposed to find him? Uh, track quest, okay, that's annoying. I'm a small dog, man. Okay, let's save the game because I thought this would be an easy quest, but no, apparently you have to... First of all, you can only track well, one tent at... Wife is taking good care of at the, well, I mean, one tent, one quest at a time, which is a little weird since I thought the quest would be on the same side of the map. So, is it outside of the initial map? Oh, we have to go to the Luculus War Camp. Well, come on, game, really? This is a very obscure quest. I mean, besides, you know, being exactly before the main mission, the main quest of the game, which, like I said, spoiler alert, we lose some important people. <laughs> you don't really get the chance to do the quest. So, let's see. We're in the middle of something, Tribune. What do you want? This? Ah, well, this is priceless. A journal written by Cotter's stupid nephew, who thinks of himself as the greatest commander history has ever seen. By the way, I don't like how they basically mark or, you know, how should I put it? They belittle or, I don't know, they make the probably the most, one of the most known historical figures in history. One of the laughing stocks of the game, which is again, I understand what they're going for, but it's I don't like when they insult historical characters to fit their narrative, their silly little narrative. Which was one of the reasons I almost didn't want to play the game, because it's Yeah, it's whatever it is. He drew his blade pointed defiantly at the looming horizon. Set sail, he proclaimed. We have a world to we must be. Listen to this. Monstrous teeth gleaming in the pale moonlight. The pirates attacked with a ferocity hitherto unseen on open sea. His compatriots wavered, shaken in fear. Clearly, they with a thundering battle cry, he rallied them and led the charge into the heart of an epic battle on high seas. Why yeah. don't you send him back here to beg for it again? A teaser tribune has friends in high places today is blue eye case tomorrow is in Pal eh, spoiler alert you will not see tomorrow Hmm alright I guess you rich kids stick together take it and let's not speak of this again Come on that will never happen no one will steal the journal of a high ranking officer like that Okay, game, whatever. Caesar's journal. Huh? He did a little bit of parkour over there. Okay, now I understand. Sorry about this mission being so long, even though it's kind of like a two minute mission. Huh. Yeah, I guess the game never really bothers to explain certain mechanics like, uh, you know, only one quest being tracked at a single time and secondary quests, especially the ones in the beginning, being um, off map sometimes. <laughs> I really wonder why, why they went for the historical approach when it comes to, you know, the setting, the weapons, the, the dialogue sometimes, or at least the definitions of certain things, but then they just... Uh, what else do we need in our game? Come on, let's brainstorm. Okay, let's kill Caesar, let's make him a fool, let's make him sound like delusional idiot. And then, make the player his errand boy. Solway, I see you have successfully retrieved my journal. I May punched I ask him. how you managed it? I keep my head cool, I made him listen. What can I say? One last question before we're done. Did you read my journal? Oh, come on, this is so idiotic. I didn't read the journal, he read it to me.
No, this is a this is a bad quest. So there are some errors in it, but you don't need to mock me. It was my mistake. You got to be joking me, really? This is such a complicated quest, you have to reload it? Okay, let's reload the game because apparently you can fail the quest if you... Oh well, let's try that again. Wow, this is some serious nonsense over, <laughs> over here. Okay, let's do the quest again. Sorry about this. I'll skip the dialogue because apparently, like Solway. I said, interesting. To the extent of indeed, like you, at location at Les be that of course. Does it matter? In a war, like wait. That is, I've been keeping a detailed. I'm reason. I have seen a admission that it is Roman law is the Centurio. Needless to. Okay, sorry about this. Let's try this again, and this time we'll do it the right way. But I had no idea. So in order to keep yourself from reading the journal, me. you have to punch me in the face as hard as you can. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because I thought well, that most of all. reading well, a journal implies you have to read it, not listen to certain parts of it. <laughs> okay. Take number two. Okay, so two minute mission is basically a 15 minute mission almost because I really want to get the whole dialogue and the whole uh, kind of like the whole quest sequence down. I don't worry, we'll stab some people pretty soon. We're in the middle of something, Tribute. This? Ah, but well, this is priceless. A journal written by Cotter's stupid neck. Why don't you send him back here to beg for it? Hmm, all right. Do you actually get the journal anywhere? Okay, so you cannot read the journal, which is exactly my point. You should. The game should allow you to read it if. It, I mean, come on, if they really wanted to make this quest as interesting as they, they wanted, because it's one of the most famous figures in history, like I said, they should have given you more options, like reading the journal, not reading it, I don't know, making a copy of for yourself and distribute it to, <laughs> to your companions so they can be inspired by Caesar's uh, mighty thoughts. Hmm. Okay, so now we are friends with a dead man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I also showed this in the other episode, so I don't think of it as a spoiler. We saw that he got viciously ambushed and murdered. Which is, again, it's almost like killing a great character off screen. They shouldn't have done it like that. They should have, I don't know, made him lead his own legion and then maybe fight with him a few times and then maybe... He should have failed a few battles or something like that, and maybe then they could have killed him, but come on, let him die as a hero, not as a peasant. Solway, I see you have success. What can I say? One last question before we're done. Did you read my journal? That is the most virtuous thing. You still get the same experience, so I don't know why that was important. Also, we don't need supplies, we don't need anything, so... Okay, let's return to Delegato, so I actually have to speak with him again, because I forgot. <laughs> and that was a weird quest, apparently you don't fail it, but you get the same experience anyway. Solway. Fascinating. Also, Caesar was probably Did not Gawi an archer. With you? We shall march through this pass, unlikely. Still... Keep alone. Okay, now let's wrap our head against the mission. I didn't play the mission beforehand, so this might be a little longer video and I might fail it a million times, so... Eh. I mean, I'm not I'm not the one that likes story missions where you have to rescue people or, you know, escort missions and stuff like that. I just want missions that I have to fight and that's about it. 
Because that's the whole point of a strategy you have game. You really made a name for yourself in a short time, my friend. Perhaps you would permit me to join your speculatoris. With your skill in combat and my strategic mind, as long as we are together, we will... Great ambush! Battle formation! Get back in formation, you fools! Norcus Minutius You Turks. fools. Why, you seem to have no command of your soldiers at all. This is the problem with you, Romans. Politicians have no place in war. Kill them all! We have no need for prisoners. The Legatus is still alive. His Praetorian Guard is holding off the enemy for now. <laughs> Okay, let's make a little save over here. Let's see what the mission wants us to do. Let's try. I think they should have a better system to see the enemies and see the friends. Now, if you press Alt and keep it, it will highlight the enemies. So we have three enemies over there. We have to look at the battlefield to understand the situation. Save him. But the companions must survive, so... We have some militia over there, which is actually pretty easy to defeat. Oh, but this is the problem. I guess you can ignore that archer over there and maybe that other one. Oh, I see the problem, so... Oh, this princeps will make short work of that one. What? We have a militia as well over there. Well, that's a bit weird. Now, the problem is, I think... Actually, I don't think I'm pretty sure we only have one bandage. And it's on me. Yeah, I don't think they actually gave us more bandages, or I didn't check beforehand, but... Whatever game, whatever. <laughs> So I have to rush with those guys, which is not a good idea, well, just to rush them, he can go up the ramp and kind of keep them from fighting us. Okay, he can handle three guys without any problems, we have to kill, oh, it's a, it's a light character or whatever you want to call him. Well, this will be fun. Also, remember that uh, the enemy starts before you start. Man, I really hate these missions. Oh, what? No, oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, I think I used his attack point by mistake. No oh, well. I haven't played in a, in a, a day or two, but yeah, the game has really some problems. And I usually would um, kind of, you know, make it easy for the player to see what's happening. Let's start. So we start first. So yeah, the, well, I guess if you look at it, you'll see it. Okay, so he will reinforce that flank. Probably he'll have to stop those guys because he'll die in a few hits anyway because that archer is over there. I also don't want to get shot by arrows. Now, is there any point in trying to remove his uh, shield or his deflect with my arrows? No, not really. Now, can he actually reach that archer? Oh, he can really reach the archer, but maybe the other one will shoot at him. Well, I guess it's too far away. 
it's a big distance, so I don't think you'll get shot from the other archer. As for him, well, I have no idea what to do with him. He might get viciously murdered. Well, at the same time, I think I can hide him over here. Okay. So, we can knock him down. Do we want to do that? We probably want to do that. So, should I just advance more? Yeah, I guess I should advance more. Okay, they killed that militia. Oh yeah, that guy was going to die anyway. Okay, so they're getting reinforcements, more or less. But I hope I just have to save him and then we win the mission. What? Okay, that's a voice line in the game. Someone should slap the developers over their hands. I mean, the one who wrote that dialogue should be slapped over the hands. Eh, people are falling left and right. Okay, I keep forgetting that's not an attack. Probably I'm too lazy to read or whatever. Also, I want that skill that makes us heal down enemies. So I guess they moved. He didn't move because he was afraid of her. That could be it. Okay, so that's my archer. I don't think we'll have time to go and kill that one unless Sinaros wants to go all the way over there. Does Sinaros want to go all the way over there? No, he doesn't. Well, I guess I'll have to do that. Oh, okay. Now, I will probably have to hide her, but... I think we can finish those guys off, and then we can provide some range support over there. Oh, that's looking very bad for him. <laughs> yeah, let's just give more cover with her. Since she already took an arrow to the knee. Six to eleven. Now, what are the odds we fail this one? Hey, we didn't. Now. I don't think they will have a lot of... Oh, they have reinforcements every turn. Oh, they don't, okay. What about this side? This side is relatively safe-ish. I want to move him over here because he will die next turn. Oh, this is actually a bigger problem than I thought. Oh, I okay, this is why I saved beforehand. I have to get used to people having that icon over their head, but it's such a weird thing. You're supposed to...
you can get the flecked on guys with swords, which is why? Why? I guess there's no... I can knock him down, but what would be the point of that? Because I'll just lose my knockdown. Ah, let's just hope for the best. Yeah. He can take care of that archer. Every man don't want to die. I think we killed the Toxote, so they are starting to panic. Yeah. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, we we have an archer that is flanking us. <laughs> Oh yeah, I have to play this mission a lot faster than this because that's annoying. So your your strategies and your tactics will not work in a mission where, where you are flanked, especially on this difficulty. This was my main concern. So if you are playing on the hardest difficulty on insane, the the story missions are not balanced. So it's annoying. You don't have I don't have any way of increasing my strength. Yeah, I just hope you can get through this part of the game without many problems so I can finally Play the game normally. If this doesn't work, I'll try it one more time. If this doesn't work, I'll just reduce it to Albo star or something like that because this is just stupid. You don't have the tools or the. Yeah, you just don't have enough tools to deal with all of this silliness. I guess there's no point in trying to do that. Okay, let's get rid of his shield. Knock him down. Glancing. Yeah, this, this is annoying. This is super annoying. Especially the skills, I think they should always hit. If it's a damage uh, skill, I don't know, a sword or a shield hit, okay, okay, they can fail, but as long as you're uh, taking the time to set up a, a skill like this, it should always work. Well, almost always, but come on, not like this. Yes, I should shoot this guy in the back. Like this is not flanked. And he's bleeding and he's... Yeah, he will not die. But I think I have weakened him enough. You know what, let's just leave it at that. I'm tired of reloading and doing stuff like that. Yeah, he, he didn't have enough I'll movement points. Okay, so we just have to save that guy. Don't make anything fancy. <laughs> Don't get fancy. I'm going the other way. Oh, he got killed? Well, that's bad. As you can see, the random nature of the game will always have different results. So, if you reload the game another time, that guy might survive it and he will act as a distraction. Eh, 
Man, this might be a mistake, so... Oh, I cannot reach him. From what I can see, he, they got killed. They didn't get incapacitated like the last time. Is there any... Hmm, no, no. I guess we can kill him. I hope. The Tarja is still alive over there. Take these traitors! Oh, oh my what? goodness, you're here! Can you get us out of this fine mess? Our people are getting massacred! We need to fall back and get Thermis to safety! Our best chance is to push back where we came from. Then we can join up with the rest of the Legion. So you only had to go over there and rescue him. Well, that's... Oh, I can play with him. Huh. So I guess now I just have to retreat. Yeah, did you remember to bring a bandage? No, I didn't remember to bring a bandage. So he's a princeps, right? Right. Well, I guess we should, or we could technically. How much does the bandage heal? percent I guess we should use our attacks to kill the down guy <laughs> oh yeah I forgot you, you cannot use it to, <laughs> to bash someone's head while they are down Okay, this is the thing that I don't like, so from what I saw, we'll get attacked by that side, so I guess it's kind of pointless to try and make a run for it, since they'll always be faster than you. And I don't want him to get bogged down by those guys, so yeah. Okay. I'm kind of understanding the way the game should be played, so there's no point in actually making her wait over here, right? I mean, Sinarus is the fastest character, or one of my faster characters. That guy went for the archer, that's great because he can cover us. Every man for himself. Oh, they are starting to panic. They can jump down cliffs, that's interesting. Okay, he went for the NPCs, which is great. Yeah, that poor centurion, he's holding the flank against four people. Yeah, that guy will be a problem, he might... Shoot us by accident. Save who? Us or them? Well, I guess since they're hoplites, they're here to save them. Okay, I guess they didn't want to engage me since I had that zone of control. Oh, 
is full HP, so he should be able to go around this. Oh, but I'll take a lot of damage from him. Also, there was that. There is that archer over here, which is super annoying. I could try to fight them, but they... Oh no, they have a mostly militia. Okay, let's save the game again, because this is some weird stuff we're seeing over here. So we can probably kill them very fast with our free heavy princeps. If I really wanted to. I mean, he has a lot of movement. He's actually great at killing stuff. Overpower. Don't. Yeah, I don't really have the movement points to go and attack them. Because these guys are super, super slow. Also, I don't want to leave them behind, that would be the worst. I don't know, let's just see where we can go. As for him, well, I, I guess I can try to outflank them a little bit. Well, this is this is a very bad idea. Yeah. Close, but not close enough. Oh, he has more bandages. I could have probably healed him for more. Well, it's too late for that now. Sorry about this, it's kind of annoying. Like I said, I don't want to take score missions, especially when the game is this deadly on insane. They managed to catch him, yeah. That's a problem. So I cannot lose anyone, but at the same time, I, I don't have enough room to maneuver. This is trial and error all the time. No, that, that was the first mistake I made. Oh no, did I move in before I saved? Or after I saved? Yeah. This is just frustrating, to be honest. You're supposed to have a lot of room to... This is why it's a strategy game. You have a lot of options, but here it seems like your only option is getting fast, getting out. I guess I could heal him with my other bandage. And then make my shield wall over there, but I also think I should pro Maybe if you... Can you evacuate some of them so I want him out of the field of battle? We can probably heal him to full. Yeah, they, they thought about this. The developers kind of reached into their buckets of tricks and said, hey, let's put him over here. Repair. Huh, he can repair his shield. So I guess I can surround those guys and then 
No, there's no point. I should just leave with my light guys because they'll not be able to stand up in a real fight. Yeah, this is what I mean. What? What is the exit? What is the exit? So... I guess this whole area counts as the exit, so let's see if we can escape with this character at least. Because the main thing is I don't want to fight. Oh, they'll make me fight. Ah, they'll make me fight that stupid archer again. It's trial and error until you get it right. So if the archer is on our escape path like that, you have to kill him probably. Since he'll shoot at us and he might down someone and that will be game over. Because from what I can see, if they get critically injured or downed, yeah, you cannot escape. I guess that would be the better position since we are kind of free from attacks. As for you, well... I don't want anyone to even look at you. Yeah, that would be a problem. He might shoot for... He might shoot him. I don't know. This is a big mistake all the time. Mm. Let's see how it goes. He died. He died. Oh, he killed someone. The game is a bad joke. The game is a bad joke. Especially on this difficulty because you see how frail the mechanics are. You see how bad the concept of the mission is on this difficulty. Why... Why... Do they allow an enemy to be on the exit point and why? That's just pure, pure random RNG. He got hit by a critical attack and died. Okay, let's see that again. <laughs> he got hit by a headpack and died and I lost the mission again. These core missions are so bad, I hate them. Okay, he didn't die that time. Wait, did he get bleeding? Bleeding, I don't see any bleeding. But I guess that's not really a problem since I can run away. Sorry about this, we'll just have to save the game again. I didn't think I would need so many safe slots, but here we are. So let's... The plan is pretty easy. I hope we can retreat in this turn. Oh no, we can't. Or maybe? Yeah, we cannot retreat this turn, because we have to kill that archer. So we have three guys over here, we have an archer over there, which is... Oh, he's not a problem. But if we don't run away, we'll get flanked from behind. <laughs> So 
so. Okay, let's try this, but it would have been a little better if I could kill this guy. Oh, you kitted the wrong character. Well, I guess more or less we can work with that. No, that's so stupid. Come on, game, really. It's RNG, it's all RNG. And like I said, I cannot change my gear. Oh man, I was expecting this. I was pretty sure this would have been one of the worst missions. You have to replay this mission uh, 10 times if you want to do it right. Okay, he falls down and says, ah. Oh. I cannot see target. Well, try harder. That's actually better than I had hoped. Okay, so he is super injured. He has to get away or at least attempt to get away, he's also super injured as well. I guess I can heal him. Just in case he gets... Follow my finger. Yes, you'll be alright. Just in case he gets hit from the back and also... Probably a bit... Hmm, no. Actually, no. No. Now, what's the correct sequence of attacks? Well, I guess I could tell. Ah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. They might be able to reach us, but I think we can take one hit. It bled out. It's too much. Really? They're, they're ambushing us and they say it's too much. No, that poor. That guy is a hero. He basically stopped five soldiers. Also, who's bleeding? Oh, it's probably them, not me. Okay, good job, bestia. Yeah, you actually killed the last one. Yeah, let's read it. Sorry about that. I had a lot of reloads because... Man, they, they really pile on the mechanics. So that's my first impression, I mean my first attempt at this mission on insane difficulty without knowing what's ahead of me or what should I do. I guess I didn't do that bad, the problem was, well, <laughs> yeah. The problem was I was trying to overthink things and that's always complicated. But yeah, those lucky shots were annoying, especially because you would lose the mission based on a critical hit. Which should not really happen that often in my opinion, but I guess this is what people are complaining about in the forums as well. You'll get glancing hits and critical hits, so if you replay the same battle 10 times, you'll never have the same outcome. That's kind of like not really a good strategy game, because even if you use the same strategy, the same skills, everything is 100% the same. You'll have that variability which kind of 
spoils the game in a certain way, but I guess you need RNG, but I don't know. Maybe they should have done a different way. was extraordinary. Oh, I wish your father were here to witness it. She's a fickle mistress who takes a liking to the brave. Yeah. I don't know about her, but I will never forget you saved my life. I owe you an apology. He's actually a very a competent soldier. In my wounded state, I'm in no shape to command the Legion. And after your actions today, the Legionari consider you a hero. You saved their lives. In return, they are willing to die for you. I hereby promote you to Legatus. By the way, as a small thing, he was stabbed in the stomach with the sword, but he's wearing armor. I don't think the sword would have gone through his armor. Looks like it's plate mail, more or less. Maybe it would, I don't know. But it probably should have stopped it. You will be in command of Legio Wittrix, reporting directly to Consul Lucullus. I'm sure Thermos will agree that I offer my legati a great degree of independence. <laughs> his hair is very white on his character, but here it's grey. And also his arms. <laughs> yeah, he probably does a lot of rock lifting. You have shown an aptitude for... Your aim should be to take Matilene as quickly as possible. With Archelaus in charge of its defenses... A favorite general of Mithridates. One of the finest military... His defeat will be a great blow to Pontus. Archelaus will expect us to be rattled after that ambush. A direct assault will seem impossible to him. Yeah, like, it's one of those movie things. Now. They will not see it coming, they don't expect us to attack in full force, yeah, they expect us, okay? For now, suffice to say I have other business to attend to. That is up to you. Gather your advisors and plan your attack the way you see fit. You. Okay, let's visit the outpost as well, because I think we can go there and see what's happening. Maybe this one will unlock some of the gear options, some of the other options, I don't think we level up, so we don't have many other options either. <laughs> yeah, that, this was a bit longer than I expected, especially, well, I guess we did that Caesar mission, which was about almost 15 minutes. Legio Victris, I'll, I'll call it Victris. Victris, Victris. At least one Centurion to lead into the battle. Visit the Legion Outpost now. Well, I guess we didn't lose much, we lost some food. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, invite him to a practice battle. No, no, no more practice battles from now on. On insane is not fun. Legate. Welcome to the camp. I hope you will find everything to your satisfaction. I am and I am Ignatius Nazo. I serve as the prefectus of this proudly. Please don't think I'm sucking up when I say that the way you took command during that. <laughs> I am in agreement, Orestes, and it takes much to imp- You can trust us. Orestes and I have served together on all of Cons- None know this legion better than we- Victrix is a new legion, Victrix. raised by Consul Lucullus. The men are young. Ah, but they are eager to fight and make names for themselves, my friend. As Primus Pilus, I am the most experienced among the legion's 60 Canturiones. I coordinate the command structure in battle. And in short, I will keep you abreast of the Legion situation at all times. Ah, yes. Oreste, as the longest serving member of this Legion, it is my responsibility to oversee construction work and look after the Legion's equipment. I will advise you on outfitting the Legion. That sounds like a job. Indeed. Please. <laughs> I, I thought he said I'm the longest surviving <laughs> member, but he was the longest serving member. Which is a big difference. Uh huh? I have prepared a list of the most. Oh, yeah, you have to click the tent. Wait, what? The class under command specialization, the diamond 
shaped perk. Moje centurion da vič krat se nič kot sem išel. And this is what some people are complaining about and also agree with them. As you can see it's gonna like 50% white, 50% um, 50% European, 50% maybe less Europeans, I don't know. I don't think you sh yeah whatever. And also you get you get probably a lot more arches, you don't get a lot of heavy princeps. Well, at least not as many as you should, then look at this guy, does this seem like a character from this era? <laughs> he looks like he has his own talk show, or he does stand-up com comedy. Yeah, they do seem to have better starting equipment than I expected. Aesthetic, crafty, architect. Well, we have to wear one Centurion or Centurion, whatever. I don't understand why some of them don't have as many skills. Com compare this guy to this guy. What's the difference? <laughs> he has a thumbs up. Okay, that's the difference. At attacks and defenses that benefit from infantry. So that guy can build and craft. That this guy can... Yeah. Probably will be forced to recruit whatever you want based on the specialization, which is not exactly something I like. Scout. I have to look at this off camera and... I can't believe that idiot led us into an ambush like that. So let me see what each of these items does. Replenish your tactical items. Oh, okay. Available recruits. You can also level up the recruits. Okay, so if you lose people later on, it will not be such a big deal. Pretorian here to craft Pretorian items, tier 1. Oh, that seem, this seems like it's a very important thing. Stratagems are also pretty important. <laughs> they have a thumbs up. Please, indifferent. Well, we won't have to deal with this crap anymore, at least. Okay, that was an interesting episode. Uh, sorry, I took oh, my time for certain quests, but I really well, wanted I to see how it is. Now, also, I want to see the marketplace. Oh, hey, legate. Allow me to introduce. I know that. If a bit enough of my. You are whatever people are willing to pay. There's the matter of. Yeah. I already did the, that dialogue beforehand. Probably have to buy some slaves. I think slaves are used for. for the camp enhancements. Uh, I want to use the blacksmith. Do we have the blacksmith? It's like we don't have the blacksmith for whatever that guy is, I guess you have to use your centurions for that. Mm. <clears throat> I guess that's kind of it, yo. I don't really want to be forced to recruit centurions based on their skills. Capture farms, tanneries, iron mines, and lumber mills. Okay. <clears throat> the barracks will unlock the armory, which will give us access to the stockpile, which is probably the better one, infirmary, what is it? I don't think we'll get attacked a lot in the beginning. Imperator tent. Oh, nice. Foundry. Oh, okay. 
I guess we'll need a forge and arsenal first of all, so probably the armor is the first thing we should build, but we need one tannery and one iron mine for that. And I say, okay, I got the best... Uh, okay. I kind of understand the mechanics, now it's just a matter of, you know, just playing the game a little more. See you next time, bye!